exclusivity is important, but it's not essential. For off diary stories, clearly we're trying to get the best and the brightest scoops, both for online and in the daily and the Sunday Telegraph. Uh, when it comes to embargoed uh, stories from PR agencies and big FTSE companies, um, exclusivity is important. Uh, depending on the content, we will share exclusivity sometimes, but we'd obviously much rather have it to ourselves. Clearly, we all have landlines, we all have mobile phones, uh, but I would say email is usually the best and uh, most direct way. Um, people don't need to call to see if we've got an email. Uh, it's not 2001 anymore. We'll have, we'll have got the email, we'll have seen it, um, and we'll reply if we think something something's relevant. Um, clearly, if something's super urgent or just to us, then sort of mobile phone's probably the second best way. Where the story goes is uh, generally dictated by the different audiences for those three different channels, for, for the daily, for the Sunday, and for online. Uh, and usually it's about what uh, we're trying to achieve with those, those different channels. So the online is about filtering out all of the noise, all of the big business and economic stories, and we're deciding what is the most interesting thing at any given time. Uh, the daily is a summation of what happened in the previous days and the big trends going on in the world, and the Sunday is more of a sit-back read, uh, more features, uh, more exclusive scoops. And in terms of the news stories, that really presents itself, the stories present themselves as either an online story, a daily story, or a Sunday. So if something's gonna hold, we can hold it for later in the day to go, um, to have the biggest possible impact in print. Uh, and if it can hold for the weekend, then we can uh, hold that to, to break the scoop on the Sunday or the Monday.